how to add a member area on Wix Studio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can sign up to the Wix Studio and how you can add the member area. The first thing that you have to do is to enter on wix.com slash studio and you will see this dashboard. Right here I have uh, already an account on Wix but I am going to switch it to Wix Studio. All you have to do is to click start creating Right here it will guide us to the free trial that you can try the Wix Studio for free. Here we have the Try Wix to Studio. I am going to make it right here. We have some questions right here or some demanded uh, plans. How do you want to plan to use the platform? I am a freelancer for example. This is for my case. You can choose whatever you want from the three cases. What kind of services are you providing? We have here web design, web development, marketing and other. Let's go ahead with web design. Click continue and here you can explore your workspace or you can create a site. I can create a site right here and I will start from scratch. I can use a pre-built uh, template right here. I'm going to use for example this one. This is the template or the website editor. Right here it will be loading. Normally it will not take too long to load everything up since everything is uploaded on the net and the Wix Studio is a smooth platform that allows you to... Now we have our template ready and also the web editor ready here. To add a member area it is very simple. Normally the most of the templates have their member area but in this template we don't have unfortunately a member area. To use or to add a member area it is very simple. All you have to do is to come up to this side menu and you have to click on app market. Here when you click on app market you can choose one of these app manager, app market or custom apps. You go ahead to search on the app market section. You search for members. Members like this. A Wix members area. You click on a Wix member area. And as you can see right here it is a plugin that you can add to your website. I will click to add to site. And it will be added to the Wix member. It is very simple. When the installing process will finish you have this page right here which is the member area. If you want to change the label or change the menu that you can see right here we have only my account. All you have to do is to click up on this page which is right here and click manage and navigate. Right now we are going to uh, add more tabs if we want for example I can add more tabs. As you can see right here we have added the profile tab. Now we can put the profile of the members and you can set the about of members and also they can describe themselves right here. We have also two tabs which is the first one which is my account right here and we have the profile. You can manage these two tabs and also you can add more tabs. It will be showing right here the tabs that are available. Uh, here we have unfortunately only two tabs. You can integrate a lot of tabs by installing uh, the apps from the app market. Uh, you can add a lot of uh, tabs such as wallet. It is uh, up to you to choose whatever you want. Right here you can choose and manage and navigate these two tabs. We can change the name of them and also you can uh, put the uh, position of each one of them. You can put and have some settings right here. You can click on uh, on one of them. You can edit the name tab and you can also delete the profile one because it is not uh, very necessary but the account one is not deletable. If you want to personalize any of these two tabs that we have added right here we have the my account and profile. All you have to do is to click on this space and then the right button of the mouse and you will see right here a settings button. When you click on it you can see right here the customization that you can add to these pages. We have here the main. You can choose what information we would like to ask your members to share. You can put manage the fields or you can put add some fields. You can put the first name. 
the last name, the phone, and you can add more fields if you want. Right here we have the address, the birthday, company, and the position. And the previewer will be right here. This is the member name, the account, first name, last name, the phone number. I will go ahead to hide this phone number and we'll let it right here. Now, that was for the manage field. You can customize it as much as you want. We have here the text, you can go ahead and put the text, for example, for the account, you can change it, you can put some subtitles, as you can see here, the public info, you can put a display info, the subtitle also, here are the text that you can modify, we have the layout, you can put the text alignment, the space between rows and the space between columns, we have here the design, you can put the design of the text, the buttons, the input style, dividers, and the background and borders. It is up to you to choose whatever you want. Basically, the member page is restricted to the members only. That is logic. But you can also add some privileges to the members that you have. For example, you can add uh, some more features for specific members uh, on the member page. All you have to do to add these privileges member or these privileges roles and rules, all you have to do is to click on add new page on this pages. You click on add members area page. And as you can see right here, we have the custom member area page. You click on settings. And as you can see right here, we have the custom member page or let's name it exclusive, exclusive member page you can also set this as your home page and you can also make some permission for it right here you can put it for members only password holders and also you can select members or paying members specific members that i are uh, that are paying a high amount um, different from the regular members you can put right here the site collaborator and you can also add a new role. Right here, I am going to add a new role, for example, and name it. Let's name it, for example, you can add new here. Uh, let's name it kink, for example. Uh, the role color, you can put it, uh, I am going to put it light blue. The description is up to you. And for the permissions, you can, put, once you have named this, created this role, here we have to save the role. And then we have the exclusive member page. I'm going to save it. You can also create the uh, members only page. You can go to the editor or you can go to the permissions right here. Now that was for the exclusive member area. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you on the next one.